When it comes to end of the year gratuities, some say the more the merrier. We tip everywhere. We're very generous. Generous people. They work very hard all year and they deserve a tip. It's the time of year to, to give a smile to people, really. Um, say thanks for all their hard work. Holidays are not about tipping per se, but they are about saying thank you for services rendered. Etiquette expert Melissa Leonard says it's no time of year to be a Scrooge. She will give dozens of bags of sweet treats as a token of appreciation, along with cash tips to key people who help during the year. Some general guidelines. One week's pay is expected by the babysitter or nanny, housekeeper, dog walker. Tip the cost of one visit to your regular hairdresser, manicurist, personal trainer. The people who deliver your newspaper will be happy with 10 or $20. Mine leaves a card inside with her address, hint, hint. Technically, the mail carrier isn't supposed to accept cash, but most will appreciate a card with a 20 inside. Leonard says anyone who goes the extra mile deserves a little something. If you have a loved one in a nursing home, you know, and there is one special aid that really goes above and beyond, I would recommend tipping. And of course, building staff. Up to $200 for the super, up to $100 for each doorman. If you park in a garage, $20 to $50 for the attendant. Experts say mid-December is a great time to give that end-of-the-year gratuity because so many who work in the service industries count on that extra cash to help pay the holiday bills. Tony Aiello, CBS2 News.